please explain in detail the immune system, such as humoral immunity, specific defense, cell-mediated immunity, specific defense, nonspecific immune response, and lymphatic system. The immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to protect the body against harmful pathogens, such as bacteria, viruses, and other foreign invaders. It comprises two main branches, the nonspecific, innate, immune response and the specific, adaptive, immune response, which includes humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. The lymphatic system plays a crucial role in both these responses. Nonspecific immune response, innate immunity. The nonspecific immune response is the body's first line of defense against infections, acting quickly and indiscriminately against foreign substances. It is composed of several components. 1. Physical barriers. The skin and mucous membranes act as barriers to prevent pathogens from entering the body. 2. Chemical barriers. Substances such as saliva, tears, and stomach acid help neutralize and destroy microbes. 3. Inflammation. In response to an infection or injury, blood vessels dilate and immune cells migrate to the affected area, causing redness, heat, swelling, and pain. 4. Fever. An increase in body temperature helps to inhibit microbial growth and enhance immune cell activity. 5. Phagocytosis. Phagocytes, e.g., macrophages and neutrophils, engulf and destroy pathogens and debris. 6. Natural killer, NK, cells. These cells recognize and eliminate virus-infected cells and some cancer cells. Specific immune response, adaptive immunity. The specific immune response is a more targeted defense mechanism that takes longer to activate. It has the ability to recognize, remember, and mount stronger responses to specific pathogens upon subsequent exposures. The adaptive immune response is divided into two main branches, humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. 1. Humoral immunity. This arm of the adaptive immune response involves the production of antibodies, which are proteins produced by B lymphocytes, B cells, in response to a specific antigen, a foreign substance. Antibodies can neutralize pathogens, recruit other immune cells, and facilitate phagocytosis. There are five main classes of antibodies. IgM, Ig, Iga, IgE, and IgD, each with distinct roles in the immune response. Memory B cells are also formed, which provide long-lasting immunity against previously encountered antigens. 2. Cell-mediated immunity. This aspect of the adaptive immune response involves T lymphocytes, T cells, which are essential for defense against intracellular pathogens, such as viruses, some bacteria, and fungi, as well as cancer cells. There are several types of T cells. Helper T cells, Th cells. These cells activate other immune cells, such as B cells and cytotoxic T cells, by producing cytokines, signaling molecules. Cytotoxic T cells, TC cells. These cells directly kill infected cells by releasing cytotoxic granules containing perforin and granzymes, which induce cell death. Regulatory T cells, Treg cells. These cells help to suppress and regulate the immune response, preventing overactivity and autoimmune reactions. Memory T cells. These cells persist long term and provide a rapid response upon re exposure to the same antigen. Lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is a network of vessels, tissues, and organs that plays a crucial role in immune function. It transports lymph, a clear fluid containing immune cells and debris, throughout the body. The lymphatic system comprises 1. Lymph vessels. These vessels transport lymph and immune cells to various parts of the body. 2. Lymph nodes. These small, bean-shaped structures filter lymph and serve as sites for immune cell activation and proliferation. 3. Spleen. This organ filters blood, removes damaged red blood cells, and serves as a reservoir for immune cells. 4. Thymus. This small gland located in the upper chest is responsible for the maturation and differentiation of T-cells. It is most active during childhood and gradually decreases in size and function with age. 5. Bone marrow. This spongy tissue found in the center of bones is the primary site of blood cell production, including immune cells such as B-cells, T-cells, and other white blood cells. 6. Tonsils and adenoids. 
These lymphoid tissues located in the throat and nasal passages help protect against inhaled and ingested pathogens by producing immune cells and antibodies. 7. Payers Patches These aggregated lymphoid nodules are found in the small intestine and play a role in defending against pathogens that enter through the gastrointestinal tract. 8. Appendix this small, finger-like pouch attached to the large intestine is thought to function as a reservoir for beneficial gut bacteria and may play a role in immune system development. In summary, the immune system is a complex and dynamic network that protects the body from harmful pathogens and foreign substances. It consists of nonspecific and specific immune responses, with the latter further divided into humoral and cell-mediated immunity. The lymphatic system plays a central role in immune function. By transporting immune cells and facilitating their activation and proliferation. Through these mechanisms, the immune system is able to recognize, neutralize, and remember harmful pathogens. Providing the body with robust and adaptable defense against infections and diseases.